supply is often the last thing on our minds when we're building a new PC, and this goes for pros and noobs alike. You pick all the other components, and then you see which power supply fits the build. The only difference is that experienced PC builders don't undermine the importance of the PSU. Sure, it's often the last thing that gets picked, but they make sure to pick the best PSU available for each build. Now, there are a lot of things you need to keep in mind when shopping for a new PSU. Obviously, there's the overall wattage, but the degree of modularity, the included connectors, and power efficiency are also important specs that shouldn't be overlooked. We've already covered the other PSU specs in other videos, so today we'd like to focus on power efficiency ratings. As things stand, this is one of the most marketable specs when it comes to power supplies. But what exactly does it do? And more importantly, is it worth getting a power supply with a high efficiency rating? We're about to find out. A power supply's job is rather simple. It draws power from the wall and it distributes it to all the PC components that need it. However, while displayed wattage of a power supply denotes how much power the PSU can supply to other components, it doesn't tell you how much power it draws from the outlet. No power supply operates at 100% power efficiency, where it draws just the right amount of electricity needed to power the other PC components. Instead, some of that power is lost. This power that gets drawn from the outlet but doesn't make it to the other PC components is converted into heat. So let's say we have a power supply that runs at 50% efficiency. And let's say that it has to deliver 100 watts of power to a component. This power supply would actually have to draw 200 watts of power from the outlet, as only 50% of that would make it to the component. All the excess power would be lost in the form of heat radiated by the unit. Of course, there are no power supplies that are this inefficient. That would be outrageous, honestly. We just wanted a nice round number to illustrate this point clearly. The cheapest models made by reputable manufacturers all run somewhere between 70 and 80% efficiency. But the most efficient and most expensive ones can easily go beyond 90% efficiency. This is where the 80 plus efficiency rating comes in. The 80 plus certification program was introduced back in 2004. As the name implies, the units that hold this certificate are guaranteed to be at least 80% efficient at different loads. Over the years, five additional tiers of ratings were added to distinguish between the varying levels of efficiency above 80%. In ascending order, these are the bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and titanium ratings. Each one is more efficient than the last, but also more expensive. So now that we know what power efficiency is and how the 80 plus certification works, we have to ask ourselves, is it worth to get an efficient PSU? Before we go any further, we want to make a few things crystal clear. Having a highly efficient power supply is never a bad thing. There are no downsides to this. Compared to just using a regular unrated power supply, this is also a more eco-friendly option. But purchasing an efficient PSU is another matter entirely. The 80 plus certificates carry with them a price premium. These premiums get heftier as the price efficiency gets higher. An 80 plus bronze PSU may cost only a couple of bucks more than an unrated power supply with the same wattage. But a platinum or titanium PSU can easily cost more than twice as much as a bronze PSU of the same wattage. So the question now is whether or not all the extra money you put in is making a tangible difference. Basically, can the more efficient power supply save you enough on your electrical bill to at least pay for itself? As with most PC-related things, the answer here is that it depends. In this case, it depends on what you're using the PC for. If you have a gaming PC, then the answer is no. If we were to compare an 80% efficient and a 90% efficient 600 watt power supply, both of which are powering a regular gaming PC, the more efficient PSU would offer negligible savings. In fact, it's quite unlikely that it would save you enough money in electricity bills to cover the price margin over the entire course of that PC's lifetime. However, if your PC is running some heavy-duty software around the clock, then an 80 plus platinum or titanium PC can save you quite a lot of money. Still, while price is important, it isn't everything. This is another benefit of higher efficiency power supplies that easily gets overlooked when we zoom in on savings and electricity bills, and that's heat radiation. As we've said, the more efficient a power supply is, the less heat it will generate. After all, heat is only generated because power supplies aren't 100% efficient. 
And as you may have guessed, not having to work in scorching environments can do wonders for a PSU's longevity. We've said it before and we'll say it again. A faulty RAM stick can ruin your gaming experience, but it won't ruin the rest of your PC. A faulty power supply can fry all of your expensive hardware. So investing a little bit extra to ensure this doesn't happen is always worth it. With all of that said, we recommend 80 plus power efficient power supplies to all gamers. But we don't think there's any need to aim for platinum or titanium. In our custom PC builds, we've only used gold rated PSUs for most high end machines. In other words, an 80 plus certificate can go a long way, but most gamers can stick to bronze and silver models without any worries whatsoever. And that about does it for this video. In summation, no power supply is perfectly efficient. An 80 plus rating is used to ensure that the PSU in question is guaranteed to be at least 80% efficient. We recommend 80 plus rated PSUs to all gamers, but there's no need to get more expensive ones. An 80 plus bronze or silver rating will ensure your PSU is efficient enough without breaking the bank. For a list of the best power supplies currently on the market, check out the link in the description. In any case, we hope you found this video helpful. You can let us know if you have by liking it, sharing it with friends, and leaving a comment. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to enable notifications. We upload a new video every week, so stay tuned for the next one. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.